In this video, we learn how to install Arch Linux using Arch install on VirtualBox. Let's create a new virtual machine. I'm going to name this virtual machine Arch Linux. And you can see VirtualBox detected this install to be as Arch Linux. I'll click next and I'll increase the memory allocation to 4096. This is going to be a desktop install. I'll click next. Now we'll create the storage. And I'll set the storage size to 60 gigabytes. Now we have a virtual machine created. I'll increase the video memory to 256. And then go into the settings. And go into storage. Choose my Arch Linux ISO. And click OK. The description will contain all the information required to follow along with this video. Now I'll boot into the ISO. I'll switch to scaled mode so you could see this better. Now we launch arch install by typing the command arch install. This command takes some time. Now this is asking us for our keyboard layout. I'll choose 26. Now we'll be choosing our Linux mirrors. So this is the list of locations supported. But if you're unsure or your Linux mirror is slow, you can choose 54 worldwide. At the time of making this video, the worldwide mirrors are provided by Rackspace. So I'll choose 53 since I am in the United States. Now in this option, we'll be choosing our storage device. I'll be choosing the first option. That's option one. That's dev SDA. That was the storage device I had created while creating this virtual machine. So we mount the storage device. Now we choose the storage format. So I'll choose ext4. And now this is asking me if I want to encrypt my disk. For this case, no. So I just leave it blank and hit enter. Now it's asking the host name of this virtual machine. So I'll call this Archbox. If you want the root account to be set up, then you can enter a password or you could leave it blank and have it disabled. This is recommended. So now I'll create my super user by typing a username. Now it is asking us to add a password for the user we just created. We verify this for the second time. To create additional users, you can follow the same steps that we had followed previously. And we can also skip this by leaving this blank and hitting enter. Now we have four options. These options are what type of install we are doing. So we can do a desktop install, which will let us choose a desktop environment or a window manager. You have minimal. This is just Arch being installed and everything after that can be decided by you completely. The second option is a server install. Server install can be a web server, a file server, a Samba server, or any other kind of server. And the third option is Xorg. That is just Xorg being installed. So for this case, I'll choose desktop since that's the install I'm going for. Now it is giving us options between window managers and desktop environments. So I'll choose 5 for GNOME. This is asking us for what kind of hardware this is going to run on. So since this is a virtual machine, we'll go with 4. This is asking if we want to install Pipewire instead of Pulse Audio as the default audio server. I've heard that Pipewire is better, so I'll choose yes. And now this is asking the type of kernel. Linux is the latest kernel. Linux hardened is Linux kernel with additional security patches. L Linux LTS is the long-term support release. And Linux Zen is custom kernels with certain modules tweaked. You can read more about that in the link in the video description. I'll choose the first option and leave it blank since it is already set to default. So this is asking us if we want to add additional packages. For example, if I want Firefox to be bundled while this is being installed, I can type that or leave it blank if I don't want that. Now it is asking us for our network type. So I'll choose network manager. It is asking us for our time zone. So I'll choose America, New York as my time zone. My time zone. It is asking if I would like to synchronize my NTP and I'll choose yes. This is a JSON output, of, so I'll hit enter to continue. Now this is formatting the storage device to ext4 as we had specified earlier.
This is just a CLI glitch and completely normal. This prompt is asking if you want to chirrut into our install. I don't need to, so I'll choose no and let's reboot. I'll just power off the VM. And remove the virtual disk. Start the VM. Now we are starting the VM as a normal window. Now we are booting from the storage. Now we have Arch Linux installed on VirtualBox using Arch install. We can adjust the display size by going into the settings and choosing our display resolution. My screen resolution is 1920 by 1080. So I'll click view full screen mode and switch to it. Now we have Arch Linux running inside VirtualBox. We can open a terminal and install NeoFetch. Now we can run NeoFetch. And now you can officially say that you use Arch by the way. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, like the video and subscribe for more videos. If you want me to cover a specific topic, let me know in the comments below.